In the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And then with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the last life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who enlightened the Slavic peoples through the brothers and silver and Methodists, grant that our hearts may grasp the words of your teaching and perfect us as a people of one accord, true faith and right compassion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who is and reign to thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Sign, sign, 
from heaven to test him. He cited it from the depths of his spirit and said, Why does this generation seek a sign? Amen, I say to you, no sign will be given to this generation. Then he left them, got into the boat again, and went back to the other shore. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When Jesus sights him from the depths of his spirit, he does his soul with a question. Why does this generation seek a sign? The ones who were seeking the proof were the very ones looking at the proof of God's power and authority, blinded by their own sense of importance. The Pharisees could not see what was literally right in front of them. And so, Jesus could uh, offer them nothing else. We, on the other hand, need nothing else for the Lord is present with us always. And now let us turn to the Lord and bring him our needs. For Pope Francis, all the bishops, may God guide them in serving with wisdom and humility. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the world, may the Spirit help it to unite the people across the cultures, races, and religions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all gathered here, may the Holy Spirit help us discern God's will for our lives and act. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in the hope of rising again, especially Pancetta Mario Barbucci and Paulette Nova. May the Lord in his mercy bring them to everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, you will give us all we need to receive our prayers and look with favor upon, that, upon them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are all our creation for the goodness we have received the bread we have from the fruit of the earth and the work in our hands. Blessed are God of creation for the goodness we have received the wine we offer the fruit of the wine and work in our hands and will become our spiritual way. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Lord, uh, look, O oh Lord, upon the offering to which we bring thee before your majesty in the commemoration of Saint Cyril and uh, Methodist, and uh, grant that these gifts may become the sign of a new humanity, reconciled to you in loving the charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give a thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is very really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and ever to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, eternal God, and through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with hope. 
and so is all the angels and saints we praise you. And we are blessed, we are blessed. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Host on the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Host on the highest. You are in the morning, Lord, that bound the law of holiness, the main glory, and therefore these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the loophole, so that they may become brass, body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he was bread, and giving a thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took a chalice, and once more giving a thanks, he gave it to his disciples, and saying, Thank this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for men, and for the forgiveness of sins. Do this, remember of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim the death of the Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving a thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread it throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with us of hope and grace our bishop and those of clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, those that died in mercy. Welcome to them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Joseph, the most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Zachary, with St. Cyril, with St. Methodist, and all the saints that please you for all the ages, we may merit to be coerced into the light and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O come, my Father, and thank your God for his spirit. All glory be and honor be yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from any evil. Direct us, we pray, peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Be thy living, my good I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with the world, for the grand forever. Amen. Now be the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us have a challenge of time.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold the head of today is away the sins of the world. Bless our souls, Lord, the stop of the Lamb. Lord, Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 